Hi, I'm Nick from Boxcar Marketing with your one minute marketing tip. And today's tip is about how to create an exploration report in GA4 to show landing pages. So the standard engagement report pages and screens is similar to an all pages report where you have your page title and all the views. These are not landing page views. So to create the landing page report, we want to use explore and then create a blank report. And now we need to tell this report what dimensions and metrics we want to appear in the table here. So we click the plus sign for dimensions and we search for page. That's going to give us the um, dimensions that are related to page. And we can select page location, which is going to show us the full URL, including the domain. Or we could select page title or page URL. We can select all of these. And import them. It means at any time we can drag and drop whatever we want into um, this report. So for the most part I like page URL um, so I can drag it into the rows there. Next we need metrics to show up. So the metrics again we can search for page to see the metrics that are related to page and screen and we're looking for landing pages so those are entrances in GA4. If you're ever confused about what a metric means, you can just hover over it and it's going to show you the definition of that metric. If you liked the exit report instead of the landing page report in GA4, then you could also import exits. And for our landing page report, we want to look at views and views per user. So we'll import those and then drag and drop what we want into our columns. So entrances. Uh, we'll just drag entrances there, or we can double click. I don't know why it's not showing us there. Oh, sorry, under values is where we want to show. So we're going to pull in value, entrances, views, and views per user. So now we have an entrance, our landing page report. It's showing us the page URL and the number of entrances or landing pages the total number of views and views per user. You can add whatever other metrics are important to you by just clicking the plus sign and then dragging and dropping those metrics into values in order to update your report. If page URL isn't working, then you could put um, page title into rows instead. So that's up here and I can get rid of um, URL or I can keep it there and that's um, that's how you update this report. The same way if you wanted to make this an exit report, instead of having entrances, you would get rid of this and drag over exits. Now, if you're a fan of the campaign traffic report, um, the way that you can do that is to modify the dimensions that are showing here in order to see um, the campaign session. Where does that session start? So we'll hit that plus sign and search for uh, campaign. And we're looking for session campaign. Again, if we hover over the dimension name or metric name, it's going to give us the definition so we know what we're bringing over. So now we have session campaign that we're going to drag over top of page title. So my page title disappeared. I want to pop that back in so I can see traffic and where that traffic is landing. Now you can see direct and organic and referral traffic is here. I don't want to see that. I just want to see campaign traffic. And so what we have to do is create a filter to say, you know what, for a uh, session campaign, we don't want to see. So the match type is does not match regex. I'll explain this in a second, but we're going to do backslash parentheses dot asterisk backslash. So what this little filter is saying is anything that's in parentheses or has this backslash, um, get rid of that. So if we apply, now we're going to see in our table only campaign traffic and what page it's going to. So the entrances for uh, landing page entrances or views specifically for this particular campaign. 
So that's the landing page report and how to use the exploration in JA4. I'm Nick from Boxcar Marketing, and that's your tip for today.